Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna show you our piano lessons. Um, we got chickens a few weeks ago, so we're gonna share with you guys um, and introduce you to our little baby chicks. They're a couple weeks old now. And then also, we wanted to show you a real life lesson of our artist study. So on Mondays in our morning basket, we will do artist study. And so we're gonna show you how we do that as well as we are actually wrapping up school here in the next two or three weeks. So very exciting. So on Mondays, the girls, they take lessons from me. And so, but on Monday specifically, I will teach them a new song or new material, just like I would a regular weekly student. And so that just helps us, since I do teach them from home, it helps us to be consistent. Um, it helps me stay accountable and make sure that they are progressing in their piano lessons. I'm gonna show you guys that and some other fun things um, that we are doing around the house today. So if you like Day in the Life videos, then give this one a thumbs up. It's a video. A pillow. My goodness. I can't see other people with pillow. Oh, looks like David's ready for his piano lesson. Are you gonna play piano? Is it is it your turn? Alright, let's hear you play. Go on. Let's hear you play. Play nice. David, play nice. In this uh, lesson a little bit difficult. You know that? You know that? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yep, Alright, so Juliet, for this one, it's going to be the same idea. Mm -hmm. It's there should be switching hands. The melody. So in this one, it's going to be the right hand playing the melody. And then on this hand, careful David, it's going to be the tonic and the dominant. C and G. Back and, back and forth. You can see that, right? This is more like an exercise, so just go really slow. Try to go slow and steady. 
Right hand's gonna play the tonic, the dominant, and the left hand is going to play the melody. artist study in a live lesson and this will actually be our last artist study for the semester we're gonna be doing our last painting and then we have one book that we're gonna finish from the library and Which one? that last the blue one the small blue one um, and this will be our last one for no what's uh what please Homer. yes Homer <laughs> Van Gogh was last. We did Van Gogh. So what we usually do first is um, I will give the girls the painting and we will guess the name. You don't have to, that's not the main purpose for you to look at it. We look at it and try to imagine it in our head. Yes. So we're gonna take. Oh, can Michael? Can you please stop that? Mom. We're gonna take a few. Hold on, sweetheart. We're gonna take a few minutes and we're going to study. This is the last painting. You can see the rest of our paintings are here, up hanging back of our schoolroom. So we're gonna take a few minutes um, to just look at the painting. Julia, could you come around here so we can look at it together? Yeah. What's it called? And. I think it's called casting just enjoy eyes. enjoy the painting for a few minutes there's a person now what we'll do is um just close your eyes and see if you can see the picture in your head <sighs> <Am I free? laughs> 
Can you see it in your head? Mostly. Oh, yeah. look, there's an island in the back. That's what... Oh, no. yeah. That's a ship. That's a lighthouse. That's a uh, ship. Or it could be a... a it could but be a like a cliff with... It's a fairy. Uh, could be. Looks like a fairy. Looks like a lighthouse. Um, how does this picture yeah, like make you feel? Uh, how does the picture make you what feel? What do you think the guy was rescuing Good. him from? Good. It makes me feel sad. sad. You tell me first, Julia. Go ahead. It makes me feel sad. Why? Because it, it looks like that person is dead. Because he's got a bloody knee. He does look like he's hurt, right? Juliet, um, Adelaide, how do you uh, feel about this picture? Interesting. Why is it interesting to you? Because there's light and there's dark. And I can't understand uh, where he's taking that guy from. And I don't understand if it's dark how there's light. So these pulleys came from two different ships. So you probably have the one ship that um, he's taking him from. And then he's going to this one. And he literally, this thing just literally moves along the rope. And he has to, like, as he's going, grab him out of the water. Mm-hmm. As they're pulling him. Yeah, so he's holding on to him. So what's So called? we'll look at the picture here. What's it called? Did I, am I, what do you call it? Oh, let's see. I, I'm swimming in a costume. I call it costume. So the lifeline. So that's what uh. that is. So now what I do is once the girls feel like they have a good idea and picture of this painting in particular, I will go ahead and Read we'll look it. at, yeah. So this Simply Show at Mason Picture Study comes with the biography, which we read the first few weeks of the semester. And then we accompany it with a couple different books from the library. So now we'll just read the lesson that goes with the picture. So yeah, now, um, what we'll do then is we will hang, this one's going to have to get hung underneath, I guess. I need a second string. So we'll hang this picture and then we have all our homework pictures up there for the rest of the semester. You can study them and look at them. We really like doing the artist study this way. I feel like the artists that we, um, have studied, we've all, don't you guys think we really remember the pictures? Like if we see a picture we know oh, yeah. it's Van Gogh um, or Mom, Monet. One time Juliet had this like um, word search. And right. It's like these different um, like things. So there was like animals. Um, and there was one called Artists. And mm -hmm. in the background, I noticed a picture that we had actually learned about from Monet. There you go. See? Oh. Or was it Van Gogh? Whatever. Anyways, hopefully you guys found that interesting and helpful. So we're having a little book reading time mm -hmm. after lunch. And then the girls just have a little independent work to finish up. And we're waiting for... Are you talking to your friends? Talking to my friends. Waiting for the one-year-old to wake up. And then they'll practice their violin and viola because they haven't got that done. But me and Michael were just reading this brand new book that we got called What Are Stars? So can you tell me something about stars? Well, What's one thing you learned? Stars are the, it's the, I'm a square, I'm a star, and I'm a triangle, and I'm a sun. Star. Star. <laughs> see, when the lights are on, and you can't see the stars. Yeah. And so, then, let's show them. No, the, and oh, you're going to show them one more? And then, that they can see the what are these called? Starfish. Well, stars look like starfish and a star flower. And then, right. Well, that's, and, and <laughs> well we could read our friends the whole book, but we're not going to read the whole book, right? Uh, yeah. That would be a lot. Um, What I was going to say was, so hold on, and Michael. Stars are okay. way harder. Yes. <laughs> and you can only see them with a stethoscope. Yep. Okay, pause, pause right there. Okay, I'll let you finish reading it to me. So, um, yesterday, me and the kids, we unboxed a Osborne, which is now called Paper Pie. We were going to open it for you guys live, but we had a birthday party to go to, and one of the books was for the birthday boy, right, cousin? Two of them. Two of the, oh, that's right, we gave him two books. 
So I went ahead and recorded it so I can show you guys everything that we got in our little spring um, haul from our book club, bookstore. Bye. So he wants us to read you one more page. Then he can he can read the rest to me. What are you reading? Um, what are you stars. Reading? Oh, I'll show that. Hey, Juliet, what are you awesome. reading? Another new book that we got. And about you want to hold it up? So she's looking at one of the new Lift the Flat books. And then Adelaide has got the catalog. <laughs> the paper pie catalog. I'm you know. She's circling all the books. She wants to add to our book collection. So. And this is a sun. And that and is the sun. And is the sun the shape of a star? No. no. I thought it would be fun to share a recent book haul that we got from Paper Pie, which was formerly known as Osborne Books and More. So the first one I got was the Illustrated Ballet Stories. We love these Illustrated Osborne books, and so we got this one to add to our collection of books that the girls are confident to read independently of me on their own during quiet time or playtime. The rainy day activity books are for just birthday presents to add into bags because we love giving away books as often as we can. This Lift the Flap series, What Are Stars? We have many of. <laughs> People ask me what are my favorite books from Paper Pie and I always say Lift the Flap books. We probably have at least three dozen of these. So that was the one that I was reading to Michael earlier in this video. How Do Flowers Glow is the same series of Lift the Flap books. We already have this one, but I picked up one as a birthday present. Along with the book, Amelia, Who Could Fly? These are classic stories, but the pictures are so cute and lovely. Girls love it, so I picked up their favorite to give to a friend. Now these wrap-ups are new for us. I got the multiplication and division wrap-ups. My oldest has already been playing with both of those wrap-ups and is loving them for a little reinforcement for her math. Their sticker books are always a hit in our family, so I got this sticker book for Michael for an upcoming road trip. And then another Lift the Flat book. This one's Mental Math, which my seven-year-old has read the whole book. They love to pick up the Lift the Flat books and read them all the time, so you really can't go wrong with building your collection of the Osborne excuse me, paper pie, lift the flat books. Okay, and then I got one more lift the flat book, which we didn't own yet, and it's question and answers of nature. So we read through this book. It's super cute with lots of fun little facts under each of these flaps. And so I'm adding that to our little spring basket, gardening basket that we will have in rotation out in our living room so the kids can learn all about nature this spring season. Speaking of spring, the next book that I got is the Shine a Light series. If you don't have one of these, they're so fun. They have secret hidden uh, messages and pictures underneath, which I can only see if you can see how it works. But basically, you shine a flashlight behind the picture. There you can see, and it has a little secret surprise underneath the page. After enjoying Osborne books for nine years, I became a consultant last year just for the pure joy of adding to our collection. So if you'd like to pick up some spring books yourself, my link will be in the description below. So it has just been a kind of a gloomy day today. Anyways, uh, when we finished school, we kind of like just took our time. It's a very Monday-ish day over here. So we didn't really kind of finish. We did a lot of extra just reading out loud for fun. And I think it was like three o'clock when we finally kind of put everything away. We, when we were up here in the living room, we read for like an hour just reading. And that's what happens when the weather just completely rainy and yucky. In fact, a lot of my friends, even just an hour north of us got snow. So anyways, this is, this is May, right? April, May in the Midwest. This is what we get. So anyways, I was going to let you guys know for dinner tonight, the vegetable I'm making is one of our absolute favorites. It is called green fry. So if you're familiar with Trim Healthy Mama, 
that is a lot of the recipes that I make here on this channel. I've had this cookbook since it came out, and I've been really following the Trim Healthy Mama ladies for like nine years, nine, ten years. It's a great way to eat uh, for, you know, low glycemic and just good for mothers because you're also getting a lot of your good fats and your carbs that you need. Anyway, I digress. Back to the green fries. They are so yummy. So they're in that cookbook, but basically I will show them to you. These are frozen green beans. And all you have to do is add Parmesan cheese, which I just did some fresh Parmesan cheese, nutritional yeast, which you can buy in like large quantities. So I get it in like a pound. Um, there's, you can pretty much get it from any store. You can get it right on Amazon actually. And then salt, pepper, and butter. And you fry those just like you would fry French fries. They are so good. My kids are going to gobble, 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 gobble them up. So anyways, I'm going to make those. And I think I'm also going to whip up some chocolate chip cookie batter because it's raining. And on rainy days, you make chocolate chip cookies, right? Uh, chocolate chip recipe that we're making. Yeah, we've been making this. Whoa, we've been making this chocolate chip cookie recipe since my mom, since I was a kid. It's just a super easy chocolate chip cookie recipe, but tastes really good, right, kids? Yeah, this is probably they're the best chocolate chips we've ever had. Except I lost my measuring cup somehow within three seconds. Uh, so we're gonna get another one here and get these chocolate chips mixed in. And David will like one to eat. Here you go, David. Go ahead. Yeah, we gotta mix it again in a minute. Okay. Hello. Um, we are about to introduce you to our chickens. In the backyard, they have this little tiny coop of their own that they live in Huddleston. If you're wondering why it's red, it's a heat lamp. Yeah, hi chickens. Are you wondering what this is? Say, look, is that a toy? They have their food and water and stuff in here, everything. And when it's hot out, we open that door over there and they can play. And this, um, like, little run. And it's fenced so that when they play, they can't get out. Right? Right, chickens? Okay, so that's the end of today's Day in the Life vlog. How are the cookies? Good. Michael, what do you think? Awesome. Good. Awesome. Amazing. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Michael. Bye.